Virgo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, real quick, you see the box right there? I know some of you have been asking about this deck that has all the writing on it. That is the box. It's called Learning Tarot Cards um, with keywords, astrology, zodiacs, chakras, meaning, witchy cauldron it's by. And you can just get it, I think, on Amazon. Um, I, it was a gift to me, so I don't know um, specifically, but that's what it's called. Um, <laughs> so if you want to check that out, go ahead. What fell? Okay. Um, you've got the seven of cups here. Okay. Choices, multiple possibilities, opportunities, picking and choosing. You have some decisions in love. Somebody's in, or it's either you or somebody else. Somebody's fantasizing, dreaming about you. And I'm dreaming of you tonight. I love Selena. I'm such a Selena fan. Um, all right, let me just get a couple of cards to get started here. Um, and don't forget to go over to my other my other uh, YouTube channel, uh, Moon Pie Tarot, because I am doing collective readings, daily collective readings over there. So do go over and subscribe if you want to get a double reading. <laughs> Um, but it's collective. Just keep that in mind. Okay. So yeah, somebody's fantasizing about you, Virgo. They're hallucinating. They're thinking of you. They have wishful, wishful thoughts. Um, so the zodiac on here is Scorpio. So some of you could be a Scorpio. Could be thinking about you. Um, hmm. Interesting. Look at the little ghosty ghost. This person's like... Hmm. Are you teasing somebody, Virgo? Or are you just kind of like not showing your face? Or did you ghost someone? This person's like, where is Virgo? What's under, you know, what's under door number seven? <laughs> what's behind door number seven? What is Virgo hiding? But is out in the open, but is hiding, I feel like. Okay. Uh, somebody wants to take those sheets off and reveal something. Don't mind my... You know how it goes. Let me see if I can get this too. There we go. Yeah, somebody wants to see what's under those sheets, Virgo. Oh, I can see where this reading is going. <laughs> they wouldn't get under those sheets with you. Okay, <laughs> give me a card. Okay, healing heart. Wow, there's a healing. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay, oh my god. God, there's addiction again. Obsession, possession. Someone's trying to like stop thinking about you. Someone is like obsessively thinking of you. Um, they're restraining themselves, but they they cannot. This feels very um, passionate and intimate. Okay, this person is like um, they're heartbroken, but they can't. They can't. Like, they think about you in a very, you know, sexual way. Um, yeah, it's almost addictive. Wow, they can't get enough. Not enough. Frustrated. This person is frustrated. Oh, they're lacking some confidence. There might be some jealousy. Um, oh my gosh, the more this person is thinking of you being with another person, and just, I said Scorpio, it doesn't have to be, it could be any water sign, it could be Cancer, Pisces, um, but it, you know, it doesn't matter, we'll find out more as we go, but I feel like this person is having sexual frustration, they think of you with someone else, and I, I don't know if it's turning them on, or if it's just making them want you even more, yeah, this is all fantasy this person ha is having like imaginations about you okay <laughs> well there's a the devil okay capricorn energy addiction that is three times someone's crazy addicted to you whoever this person is is crazy like they're trying to heal their heart but <sighs> maybe it's toxic because it's like all they can think about and it's like they're trying to I don't know go take a cold shower uh, maybe it's you Virgo maybe it's you okay this this person wants to get like really really naughty with you okay <laughs> they feel powerless they want you to like 
you know, tie them up. <laughs> My sponsors are totally gonna like demonetize me, but whatever. Um, oh, okay. For some of you, they like it rough. Uh, they want, or they want you to get rough with them. I feel like someone. I don't know. Are they watching like a little bit of? hub or something I don't know a lot of sexuality energy bondage um, they want to cheat on their partner with you if they have a partner um, like they are just so um, right now they're having mental health issues <laughs> they can't focus at work okay um, they think about the possibilities of being with you, the, the dreaming, the fantasy. Um, they can't get their mind focused. Um, they just keep, oh my goodness, what the, what in Jesus' sandals is happening here? The Holy Ghost showing up here. What the heck is going on? Okay, so we have Queen of Swords. Ooh, Virgo, that's you. Okay, male or female energy. You're, um, you uh you th you either you're going to be or you are throwing a little friendly fire or you were throwing a little friendly fire at somebody um maybe you're you're very well we know you're very strong um this could be aquarius as well um we know you're very strong and quirky uh and discerning and can be chatty and candid but um hmm like that's a turn on for this person when you kind of just like um, not mean I'm not picking up mean I'm picking up like constructive criticism or you just you throw truth bombs and it's kind of like a turn on for this person what the hell is going on <laughs> okay let me see this person um, you really Virgo have this person like lacking confidence they're so frustrated okay all right show us more show us more okay mm, okay for sight for skin I'm just saying um, on this this person um, They think about a future with you. Yeah, okay. This person's like considering moving if you're at a distance to each other or coming your way. You know, you could live across town. Um, like as soon as you give them the sign, as soon as you communicate or you open yourself up and hey, say hey, give them a call or reach out or text or touch, I don't know. As soon as you do that, this person's like, all right, I'm waiting. I'm ready to go. My bags are packed. My bags are packed. I got my st my walking stick. You know, um, I don't care. I'll, I'll walk across the water. <laughs> I'll, I'll swim if I have to. If you guys live uh, across the water, maybe across a lake or uh, across a desert. Um, this person is like, you'll do anything for this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this person, I feel like, they're, they're like, I don't even want to say it, I'm, I'm getting donut holes, I'm getting hot dogs and wieners here, <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, I gotta stop, oh wow, alright, we've got death, so we have Scorpio here, Capricorn, Aquarius, we have Aries and Scorpio again, um, Oh my goodness. This person wants, they need, they need to end this. They have to see you. This person is like in their thought process, their emotions, their passions, their senses. They have to satisfy and connect and be with you and feel you and smell you and taste you and get sweaty with you and, you know, make some kind of change. Um, you know, they, they need this release. That's what the death card is. And, um, you know, I do feel like if their heart is healing, it's because they love you 
And um, if you don't know who this person is, Virgo, um, they're healing their heart and coming out of a difficult relationship, but they're just like, either they meet you and it's like, oh my God, what do we have here? Because you know, Virgo, you are very sensual and very uh, alluring. And there's something just really magnetizing about you. And I feel like if you don't know who this person is, there's definitely like, they see you somehow. If you don't know them, they see you somewhere. They're seeing you in, your, in their dreams. Um, like in the 5D, like we were saying yesterday, this person somehow sees you and they fantasize and, and they dream about you. Wow, we've got the Knight of Cups, romantic offer, invitation coming your way from this person. Okay, um, could be, I'm going to tell you, uh, somebody's taking action here, following their heart, gentlemanly behavior. So, you know, that can go you know, masculine or feminine, someone who's very polite. Um, this person wants to sweep you off your feet. Charm, attraction, dating, affection, warmth. This person's very gentle. They have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a very gentle way about them. But, sorry, I was out in my garden today, working in my garden, um, a little congested. So, yeah, this person is like they wear their heart. They're coming in with their heart on their sleeve, Virgo. It's and it's a Scorpio again here. That's three. Um, so it's not. Um, what was I gonna say? It it's not just the physical. I mean, it's just everything. It's it's like the physical and the emotional because you start off with the emotion, like their fantasies or their dreams or what they think about you when they see you. You're I know somebody like who the hell is this? You might not have met them yet, okay? And they have some kind of image of you, or they've seen you somewhere. Maybe they pass you on the street, or they go by your work, something along those lines. Um, their images and fantasies and illusions and their wishful thinking uh, is affecting them on, a, on a, an emotional level as well, okay? Enough so that they want to come in and, you know, ask you out or offer, you know, their cup or say you want to get together. Like, they're coming from their heart. Oh, my goodness. This is so passionate and sexy and it's amazing. Let me see what else is going on here. Oh, yeah. If I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. So they're stressing. Oh, my gosh. It's like they have these fantasies and now they're having nightmares. They're like all over the place because of the addiction. Okay. And, and the frustration. It's almost as if this person has these fantasies and then they release, if you know what I mean. And then... It, it it they release but then it comes back again and then they're frustrated and you know um stressed they're at a breaking point inability to cope that's what i was saying um this these these fantasies or dreams about you or will be coming <laughs> um yet this is going to really affect this person on a deep deep level okay uh, I, f I feel like either there their people around them are saying to them right now or will be saying to them, what is the matter with you? Why do you keep screwing up at work? Or why, like, what's wrong? You all right? You seem a little like, like an out there, like a little brain dead. <laughs> and this person <laughs> is sneaking into the bathroom or, you know, <laughs> scheming. They're not saying anything. Dangerous, risky behavior. Um... Oh my gosh, um, this person is lying to them, whoever their people are. Um, if you know this person, they might be telling other people that, you know, oh no, we're not a thing. You know, I'm over it. I'm done. We, we moved on. It's that relationship is over. You know, if you knew this person and that's a lie, they're lying to them because they're like, they can't get enough. They can't start, like the more you're, 
the more it's done, the more they keep thinking about. They keep thinking about um, a connection or the time if you were together um, in the past. They can't stop thinking about it. Goodness gracious. Okay. So I feel like this person... Um, like if they can, if, if the minute, the minute that there's contact in some way, this person's going to make a break for it. Yep. They're, they're on their way. They're going to start. They're going to be coming. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, what the heck? I mean, I mean, Hey, Virgo, August, August, a lot of, a lot of heat, hot, Passion, sexy energy in August. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. For some of you, this is a friend. A friend. Just a friend who's got it bad for you. And they can't. They can't. They're. Oh, man. They can't get you off their mind. And for others, this is a connection that you already have. Or maybe you had before at one point. Where there's a reunion. We have Cancer energy here. Gemini showing up where there's a reunion. Okay. Um, getting together, a party, socializing, indulging in each other. Big time. For some, it might even be a threesome. Okay. Don't criticize because I know there are people out there that do that. That's just something that came to me. Um, it might strictly... I mean, I was going to say... You know, it might strictly be sex, but with that romance card there, I don't feel like it. Um, I mean, there is some degree of emotion. Okay. Um, let me see. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this person wants to do right. They want to do the right thing. They're coming in with a t integrity. Okay. Definitely. Um, this person, like I said, they come across as very gentle. And there's Libra and energy here they come across as very gentle and gentlemanly or very polite and not a dog this person is not coming in as a dog um or as immature or childlike in any way i'm not picking that up i feel like this is someone who um they might be a lawyer they work in the justice or the legal field um or you might maybe you both work there um, or they're a friend. Okay. Um, let me see. This person might be very legalistic in some ways. Wants to do things by the book, by the law. Okay. Um, but it's there's honesty here. So I feel like somebody's coming in here to be truthful. And for some, there's uh, a message... Uh, maybe if you knew this person, there's this, you know, I've learned my life lesson. <laughs> life lessons being learned here. All right. Wow, this person's like really, really. They, oh my goodness. The Ace of Cups. There's a new beginning, a new relationship, new romance, love, happiness, joy, conception. It could be pregnancy. Um, celebration, socializing, and outpouring of love. Okay. An outpouring of, of beautiful, um, wet love. <laughs> I feel like um, this could be um, a new start here for two people. Very beautiful energy. And that's all water right there. So that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let me see. Okay, wow, there's the Empress. I did say pregnancy, so some of you, like, be careful. But I feel like uh, this person wants to have a baby with you or have a child. And if it's not a pregnancy, maybe surrogate or adopt. Okay, um, if you're a mother, this person, um, they recognize that you're a mother and they love that about you. It's very sensual. Um, because it's so real and it's it's like everything that your body went through I feel like this person wants to see all that you know if you had a child um, they want to they want to like they want to kiss your stretch marks um, <laughs> they want to get under the sheets and um, uh, just feel your femininity 
all over them. And um, man, I hope some of you, <laughs> I know we got some guys in here, like, you know, deal with your shit later. <laughs> but, um, and, and this can go in the opposite direction as well um, for you guys, you know. If you have like a little pot belly or something, this person just wants to nuzzle it and kiss it <laughs> and um, like get sweaty. Uh, they're just giving me like, you know, like child, like childbirth. Um, you know how like it's, there's so much, it's, it's, it's wild. It's, it's a wild ride, childbirth, like actually giving birth. And it's sweaty and it's tense and it's like all that I'm picking up. Um, they they want it sweaty and tense and wild and and completely like abandoning everything and having no restrictions and no boundaries and no fears and no inhibitions. You know that's motherhood. That's childbirth. That's that's birthing something new. That's like raw. This person. Um, and, and it's all so sensual. It's all about the senses. You know. The reading and a half, you guys. <laughs> okay, wow, the world. Out of this world. This person thinks you are out of this world. Um, they want to have that sense of belonging with you, that fulfillment, that completion, that accomplishment, that wholeness. This person, you're the, f you're the total package for them, Virgo like you fulfill and they know that you fulfill every last lustful need every emotional uh, need that they have or they imagine this to be so if you don't know them or if you're just friends if, or if you, when you meet them you know or if you reconnect with somebody here this is like having a whole new beginning two new beginning cards here this person wants that success and achievement with you and they just don't ever want to look back they just want to keep you know moving forward with you wow okay yeah the fool this person's a fool for you a total fool for you i mean that right now i feel like this person is in spontaneity mood you know, um, they can't even commit to anything going on around them. They can't stop thinking about you. It's crazy. Let me take a look at your energy. They want a new beginning. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning. 100%. Yes. Let me say, It's just passion. You know, it's so strong for you. And they just, they cannot get enough of dreaming about you or thinking about you. Oh my goodness, Virgo, what you do? Okay, Virgo's like, nope, you gotta come in with some dollar dollar bills. You gotta be stable, you gotta be ready. Virgo, <laughs> yeah, come slow, but just keep coming. You know, <laughs> Virgo's like, don't rush me. Um, Virgo's like, you know, I got a routine here. And this person's like ready to just rip your clothes off in the middle of the street and you do the same. And they want that spontaneity and they just throw your cares to the wind. They don't care. And Virgo's like, hold up. Let me make sure I have my keys to my car. Make sure the door's locked. Hold on, I gotta make sure the iron, I turn the iron off. Wait, let me check my calendar. Wait, let me make sure my phone is silent. Where are we going? Okay, I need the map. I need you to, t let me put it in my GPS. <laughs> Virgo, this person's like, F the map. F your phone right here on the ground. Let's get to it and do it. I don't care who's around. We're out in public. Who cares? Make fools of ourselves. <laughs> Virgo's like, well, if you're gonna put my coin in the coin slot, it's gotta be, it's gotta be 25 cents. I don't take no dimes. I don't take no pennies. <laughs> you gotta have the right amount of money if you're trying to get this. I'm in rare form today. I spent I spent like the whole day in my garden just and, and so I'm on the east coast and we have like an infestation of these Chinese lantern flies. And if you guys are on the east coast, you know what I'm talking about. These things are insane and they're constantly flying on me and I, I must have killed like 20 today and ripped out I like well let me not get into myself, but I went and ripped out all these extra shrubs and these 
plants that I know that they're attracted to. I mean, and now I'm just, I'm giddy and I'm tired, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, you're kind of like, slow your roll. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just make sure. <laughs> Let me make sure. Are we... Well, I, I want the lights off. No, screw the lights. Who cares? Daylight, right out in the woods. I was like, yeah, but, but, but. <laughs> oh yeah, Virgo, look at you. <laughs> Virgo, you got that poverty mindset here. <laughs> I was like, but, but if I do and we connect, then, you know, you might forget about me or, or it won't work out. And this just feels like a spontaneous connection and I'm not telling you what to do but I feel like your energy is kind of like you're cold you got routine and you got poverty <laughs> however more of a challenge that makes you right so I actually kind of like that you're, you're you're gonna give up you're gonna be a little challenged you're gonna be a little not like mentally challenged but <laughs> you're gonna be a little like well, you have to wait. Well, you have to just wait a minute. You got to wait five minutes. And you're just increasing this person's frustration, Virgo. Increasing it. You're making, oh my gosh, this person can have like, well, fine. I'll do it without you. I don't need you. <laughs> Look, you're like, just wait. Just, just, can you just wait? I don't know. I got to check my schedule. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Virgo, you're making me laugh. You're making me laugh. You really are. Okay. And then you get moving, right? Wheel of Fortune. You're like, okay, just just hold on. I gotta make sure everything's in order first. You're like um you're like a cautionary spontane spontaneous person, right? What is that? Um It's not reckless. You're like a cautionary risk taker. So you kind of have, so I see you just kind of being like, all right, I just got to make sure like everything's good. I, I got to sit or I got to make sure that like, where are we going? Whatever. And then, and then destiny happens and you're like, okay, once you got everything together, we're going to like, all right, let's go. And then this person I'm telling you is going to be blown away because Virgo, once you get all your ducks in a row here and make sure, you know, that everything is on the up and up that this person's going to be like blown away because once you get going Virgo oh my goodness see people think Virgos are prudes it's not they're not yeah see people think Virgos are restricted and insecure and then they're, they're like you know my hands are tied I can't do anything I have all this anxiety but that's not true once Virgo feels like everything's good then Virgo lets loose harder in the sensual areas in the physical intimate sexual areas harder than even a freaking Scorpio no one can go <laughs> that hard that's why I feel like this person senses this about you and your restrictions kind of make them want you even more you know not just in the physical um, it's the challenge I guess you bring some kind of a challenge here and you're not, I don't feel like you're trying to. You're just like, I'm not, I'm not playing games. I legit got to make sure my calendar is set. <laughs> I got to make sure the dishes are put away. I'm not, I'm not blowing you off, but my dishes come first. I got to feed my dog before I, I got to make sure I have a sitter. <laughs> Virgo, you're funny. All right, let me take a look here. This person is just... <clears throat> hot to trot like they cannot stop thinking about you they just can't okay let me see what do we have oh I want to feel that way again they want to feel that dopamine they want to feel that excitement they want to feel your skin they want to they want to see you dripping sweat they want to see you completely drenched in in their juices <laughs> they want to just I if you were like that with this person before they want that again um, they want all of it or that this person just wants to feel that way again maybe they haven't felt that way they have a healing heart here um, and yeah 
This is something. Figures. Oh my goodness, this person. I am so attracted to you. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Virgo. This person is like, you do it for them. I mean, you do it for this person. And nobody else can do it for them the way they either imagine you could or know you could. You just have some kind of savoir affair about you. You just got something. Okay. Hmm. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, and that's kind of making them want you even more. More of a challenge. See? I want you. I feel you leaving me behind. And I want you. I don't want you to, to go. I don't want you to not experience this with me. You know? This is what I feel like is going on with this person. I mean, they're just obsessed. My life is not together as it seems. So they, they're walking around with this front pretending that everything's fine, but other people are picking up like, what's the matter? Like, you can't even... You're bumping into walls. You're parking sideways in your car. You're forgetting to turn off the light or the coffee pot and... and you know, this person, not you. Virgo's like, I don't forget to turn off my lights. I know exactly where my money's at. And I know where my car's parked. But this person's like, <laughs> they can't get it together. This, You are going to get some type of communication and a love offer for sure. And it's going to be like a very passionate thing coming in. Let me see. Oh, this person wonders if you are happy without them. Hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit of that not enough energy playing out with this person as well. So if you were with this person before, or if something started as friends, and then you, you guys separated or moved away, uh, they miss you. That's what I feel like is going on here. This person is missing you. And if you haven't met them before, um, that card doesn't apply to you see okay I hide behind material things yeah oh yeah this person like they can't stand up at the desk in the classroom if you know what I mean they're hiding they're hiding their if it's a male they're hiding their um <laughs> their ace of wands <laughs> They got that fig leaf. It's made of like gold and stone, and they're like walking around with that so nobody sees. Um, that's what they're hiding. If it's a female, um, this person kind of just doesn't let on that they're very affected, so they just talk about work all the time or material things. If you, you know, if you have an involvement with a female. I'm going to end this reading because it's hot to trot. Okay. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Yeah, I feel like this person, um, oh my goodness, I'm just seeing like devouring you. Devouring you. Kissing your toes, licking your ears, everything, everywhere in the water sweating whatever very very passionate and this person's just going to give and give and give they just want to give you everything and virgos <laughs> you're balancing you're you're in a way kind of slowing i think if you guys if you guys actually like if you met this person halfway i feel like there would be fireworks um, so that's up to you. You want to meet this person halfway with this energy. You know, you, it might be like a quick burnout, too. I don't think you want that. I think you, Virgo, you got like sleight of hand. You like just a little bit, just a little bit, just a tip, just a little bit, you know, and you like that work up. You like that work up. <laughs> and you are kind of like, okay slow down slow you like that slow hand and you give them that slow hand and then oh, <laughs> I have to stop <laughs> I have to stop okay do I want any more cards all right we'll get a couple of Chinese signs well I'll do you I'll do you a solid and give you a couple of Chinese signs just to see who this person might be okay or you <laughs> 
Okay, we've got a monkey. Shock the monkey. We have a dragon. Double dragons. Watch out. And if your sign isn't here, or if this person's sign isn't here, don't worry about it. Okay, we've got a snake. Oh yeah, you're getting a snake or giving a snake. Um, we've got a rooster. We have a goat. A rat. Double monkey. We have a horse. Yeah, you're getting that big old horse dong. Da dunk, da dunk, dunk. A double horse. <laughs> and the year of the dog. I don't think we've had a dog. I don't think it's we've had a dog in a while. So alright you guys. That was fun and I'm super excited for you. Um, I hope this works out for you, if that's what you want. If not, you know, it's just a just tower reading. Don't worry about it. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow for your weekend, right? Tomorrow's Thursday, um, Thursday evening for your weekend love reading. And uh, also remember, go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get the every the schedule that I have here. I do over there. Um, but it's collective, so it's not, you could be listening for your, you could be cross-watching or listening for yourself and just getting another message, seeing if things, you know, it, it's not to compare the messages, it's just another facet, another angle of something, of, of, a, of, of the story, okay, so definitely go check that out. All right, you guys, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.